So you know that the one is what? What we know. That's what? Knowledge. Okay. When we use our knowledge to act out how we do, how we do things, our wisdom. choices we make, that's our wisdom, right? Wisdom. Right? And once we do those things, that's ultimately... Understanding. That's going to lead us to an understanding, right? Understanding. So if we use all this to define how we live, that's our what? Culture. Yes, ma'am. So you already know that what? You know that one is what? Knowledge. Knowledge, of course, right? When you're building a house, what's the first thing? Number one. That's the foundation. Yeah. When it comes to people's skin color, a lot of times they're going to try to teach you to think. Like the people that look like this are at the top. And the people that look like this are at the bottom. But I want you to look at me. If you think that way, you're going to be missing out on a lot of great things in life. Put other people here. What you're really doing is you're putting yourself here, here. You hear? Pizza. We might get a slice of P E E E A A A Z Z Z A A pizza, right? But when I say we get pizza, that doesn't begin with an S. But I can still fit an S in somehow. How? We're talking about getting a S S S L L L A A A A S S S. Find me different places that begin with the letter S. Say it. What else do we got? South Carolina. Okay. South Dakota. What did you know? You knew what a letter S looked like. You knew that this is North America, this is the country, and you knew that there's, it's divided into places that start, that have words that start with letters. You had all that knowledge, and when you just pointed all that out to me, you, you were using your number of the day, which is your two, your what? Wisdom. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> letter C, it makes the k k k k, -k sound. Um, I want to talk to you today about the number three and the letter C. That one is what? Knowledge. Knowledge, right? And you know two is what? Wisdom. Wisdom. Then you come to a clear mental picture in your brain, and that's a number three. That's a what? Understanding. Yes, ma'am. What we got going on in that oven? It's an experiment, right? So there's two glasses in there. There's two glasses in the oven, right? And when I open up the oven, I'm going to have you look through a camera lens, and I want you to be able to tell me through that camera lens which one of those glasses are dirty and which one of those glasses are filled with clean, crisp, clear water. I know you can, but this morning you were kind of acting like you what? Can't. can't. Right. All right, but listen, we always can. Which one's cloudy and which one's clear? This is going to be hard to tell. It's hard, right? It's hard to tell. So why don't I, so why don't I stop hiding stuff from you? This one's cloudy, this one's clear. Understood, right? But here's the thing, before you couldn't see it because I was making it so difficult, I was blocking you from getting that knowledge in the first place. Right? So whether something's cloudy or clear, whether something's clean or dirty, whether or not we're calm, we're excited, we're ready to go, we can or we can't, all these things are about how we what? What is for? Culture. Culture, all right? And that's the way of life. And so I put the word di 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 divine up here. And that's just, in this sense, I'm just talking about something that's the most high, the best you get, right? The best you get. So you strive to be divine in how you eat. I already told you that the way we eat, that's called our di 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 a a a a diet. We don't want to eat deers because they're so cute. Yeah, well, you know, some people eat deers. We don't eat di 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 a a a we don't eat duck. duck. We don't eat duck either, right? Yucky. We don't eat too many don't oh, oh, no. What's that? Don't eat nuts. Uh, oh, oh. Do, do we eat that? What's that? Dolphins. Dolphins. Do we eat dolphins? Uh -uh. All right. That would be silly. We strive to be in the most high way, right? And then one of those things is how we eat, and that's our diet. What's that? Diet. diet. And amongst the letter of the day, D, we're going to also be doing K and Z. What's that? One, two, three, four. So this was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know what the fifth is tomorrow. That's what? Birthday. That's your birthday, right? And it's also a day. What does five mean? That's a what? That's a day of what? Power. Power. Yes, ma'am. One of the best days of my life, right? You know that, that yeah. your birthday was one of the best days of my life, right? Yeah. <sighs> Here, put your feet up like this. Okay, we're going to do a couple things today. We're going to talk about these E words. We're going to talk about the number six. 
And we missed five yesterday. We only did it briefly because it was your birthday, but you know five is what? Power. Yes, ma'am. And it was your birthday. It was the day of what? Power, right? Because you turned five years old on September 5th. Can I get a high five, sweetie pie? <laughs> the number six means what? It comes after power. The number six means power. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so three plus three. Let's talk about dividing these out into six pieces. I want to see this divided into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, those are your six. Let's just say we separate three. You, you no longer have six. You have two sets of one, two, three, right? So you got two sets of three now. So if you understand something and you teach that to somebody else, you make your understanding understood. Now y'all are equal. You're on the same plane, right? Now you're dealing in what? Equality. Give me that high five, sweetheart. <laughs> Mwah. Exact. You see all this? These are like 5,000, 4 to 5,000 years old, a lot of this stuff. They built some of the big, the strongest, some of the biggest buildings. It's broken now, but it's been a it's been a long time, kid. What are you doing here? Building a new castle. And what are you doing here? A shrine. What do we got here? What's number eight today? Infinity. Yes, ma'am. Infinity. Infinity, and that means forever. Broke. Rock. Rock. Short. Joke. Rock. Dog. Oak. God. Note. All right, find me some places with an I. So we got the letter I, that's the capital I, and that's the lowercase I. And we've got the number nine, right? We think about born, I think about one I word that pops up, and that's infant. I, 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 infant. Yes, ma'am. Ice cream. So the I is pronounced I or I. See if you can read bike with me. It's b b b uh, uh. Bike. Bike. Yes, man. And b b b uh, uh, uh. What's bot? B b b b bot. Oh, the... This is just like dying. Yes, man. Just like your five, right? It'd be like more like infin or if or it or fit it. it. Shh, 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 shh. Say that with me. Fish. Fish. Is this you? That don't look like you, right? That's a grown up. Who's that? That's mommy, right? Tell me what's going on right here in this picture. You're being what? You're being what? You're being born, right? And so that means you're coming into existence, right? That was a process. It was nine full, it was nine full months of you being in your mommy's tummy before you were what? And just like this book that we worked on, right? This didn't just appear, right? First you needed to do the knowledge of how to even hold a pencil, right, or hold a crown. So whenever anything is brought, like this book or you, brought into an existence, that all starts with one thing. It all starts with what? Knowledge. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Today, come on, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the knowledge to what? Today is one zero, so that's knowledge what? Knowledge cipher. Yes, ma'am. So we're gonna do the knowledge to what a cipher is. We already talked a little bit about how when we're doing a math problem, a zero, right? First of all, the letter is O. This is all shaped exactly the same. And you're gonna see these O's everywhere. One, two, three. Let's add zero. What does it look like when we add zero? Could you add zero for me? Add zero. What does that mean? Nothing, nothing right? If you take one and you add nothing, what do you get? One. And if you take two and you add nothing, what do you get? Two, right? At the same time, a zero is nothing. But I told you what? When you told me a zero equals nothing, or a cipher equals nothing, I told you a zero is what? Ev I told you it equals. This is an orange. What are these? And what's this? Flower. Yes, ma'am. What do I got here? These are all showing up in nature. Let me prove it to you. Does this look like an O to you? No, right? No. So check. Yes. 
Showtime. How about now? Yes. Yes. Okay. This, does this doesn't look like an O to you, does it? Yes, but, it does. It does where? Because it's a circle. It is kind of a circle, right? And then watch how it pertains to a circle in the back. Right? Now that's the biggest, those are the biggest ciphers that we know about, right? Those are the biggest ones that we can see. Those are the biggest ones that we can see. Look at all the other ciphers. Look at all the other zeros. Look at all the other O's. The microscopic, look at our hands, right? What, what's made, we talk about the microscopic level. Look at our cells. What are our cells made out of? I told you about cells, right? What do those cells look like? Those are the smallest things. Those are some of the smallest things that we, we know about, right? And these are some of the biggest things they know we know about, right? What do they all look like? <laughs> Almost exactly the same. How about atoms, right? Versus is everything. everything. <laughs> That's clouds and, and blue water and land, right? This is covered mostly in water, right? Check out Saturn, the rings. Where's the boy? Where's the girl? Which one of them has a penis? Okay, which one of them has a vagina? Boom. Can we make any children without those two, without a boy and a girl together? No, right? What's the first thing that boy notices? He sees a she. He sees a girl, yes. Every single bear we see is a he bear or a she. They said every single bear we see is a he bear or a she. So are there any bears other than he and she? I'm a father. I'm a he. A father's something you could be. He's saying that to his son, right? Can you be a father? What can you be? A mommy. We could fix a clock, paint a door, build a house, or have a store. Do you have to be a boy or a girl to do any of these things, or you can just be either one? You could be either one. Teach kids how to add and spell. There's a picture of a girl doing that. Am I a girl doing that? No, right? Hey, how would you like it if mommy decided to be daddy for a little while? How would that make you feel inside? It seems ridiculous. <laughs> they let us the whole class watch on TV when a female, a girl astronaut who was a teacher, you know, went off into space, right? I'm gonna wait till you're about my age then before I tell you how it ended. The universe is everything. Yes, okay. And so what do we got here? We got sun, moon, and stars, right? Stars are the... What? Out of everything, what's the smallest? Oh. Like some of the last stuff that's left, right? And I know that, have you ever seen this before? You've seen a, you've seen a puppy solve a mystery on TV 40 times, but you've never seen the oldest stuff that they got on Earth. They don't show you this, right? <laughs> you were born in 2014. Daddy was born 42 years ago, 1977. My dad, E. Meister, was born 65 years ago, 1953, uh, His mother was born in 1920, right? So that's almost 100 years ago. She's still alive, right? The first car came out in 1885. So how many years ago was that? That was like 135 years ago. A thousand years would take us all the way to the middle of the TV set over there, right? 2,000 years would probably take us out to the porch, find out where the first hair clip went. You gotta go clear out the porch, cross the street to the beach. You have to write this timeline all the way past the porch into the middle of the street, right? That's how long ago they did this stuff. Let's look at our words. Look at the bees, right? That's you balancing on a basketball, your baby boy brother with a stinky butt. <laughs> Bee sound always sounds the same. It always sounds like what? Ba 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 ba. All right, okay, cool. Eventually time. Eventually time wears this out, right? Just like those pyramids and just like that sphinx. But the question is, what are we gonna do when we're here? What are we going to what? What are we going to build or destroy? Yes, ma'am. So we know that 23 is two sets of 10 with three ones. When you add two plus three, what do you get? One, two, three, four, five. Five, and what's five? Power. Yes, ma'am, zero. No. All the things you got to do today. You started off your day having to be what? Sister. A sister. And then you zigged over here, and now you have to be what? Student. Yes, ma'am. And zig over here, 
and then you're gonna hang out with your yeah. friend. Yes, ma'am. And then you zag over here, just like you. You have to be more than one thing. And when you're changing, if you can change smooth, right, you're gonna be moving like music. Zig, zag, zig. <laughs> Can you give us five more? Five more minutes. Certain stuff we don't know, right? If somebody tells you, if somebody tells you that they know something that's unknown, that you, you know it to be unknown, you tell them you show me and you prove it. Do you think we can bounce an egg? What do you think? No? Whoa! Oh, that's <laughs> The whole thing. There we go. Observations. And observations is when you use your eyes, your ears, sometimes your nose, sometimes your hands, right? Sometimes you taste. When you use your five senses, what do you see on that egg? Bubbles. It's bubbles. And what are the bubbles doing? Making holes. They're making little holes, right? And then where are the bubbles going? Uh, four, five, six, what does X mean? Unknown. Yes, ma'am. Unknown, right? So like an X-ray, they're looking straight through to see your skeletal system, your body and stuff. They're trying to see things they can't see from the outside. We don't know. That's what an experiment is all about. We don't know. We're going to try to find out. What's your prediction that's going to happen to that egg tomorrow? Be gone. Be gone. All right, baby, go. This is an easy one. This is going to be one of the first words you know how to write and read. Yes. 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 Looking at me like I'm talking crazy, right? Listen, you might be able to read all these words. You might be able to say the word yo-yo, but you're not going to be able to play with my yo-yo. Let me prove it to you. We tried to bounce a regular egg, right? And what happened to it? it splattered on the floor, right? Still bubbles on top of that egg there. Then we see something else going on over here. It's a dark green kind of a film a separated from the egg. You see that? It's all different. Remember, observation is use your eyes, you touch. And that was the vinegar we put on the egg. How do you feel about that? Sour. Sour. So this egg has definitely changed. And let's see how. Not only did the egg lose its shell, Feel it, touch it. Look, there's no sound. Do you think this egg will break if we bounce it too hard? No. You don't? Yes. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh man, mommy is not going to like that. Hey look, check it out. That's the egg's membrane. We know the egg changed through the course of that experiment. And so the question that we have today is, Why? Do you care to see what happens when we mix an acid and a base? <gasps> wow. So we're asking ourselves, what are the causes of these effects? Because when we ask why, we're just talking about what's the science behind what just happened there? Go <laughs> <laughs> path talking. Right. There's nothing in here, right? Come over next to that. There's nothing in here, right? And there's water on each side. I'm gonna dump some of the blue into the one on the right. So let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, You're gonna see something that it wasn't originally. You're gonna see something new. Liquid is absorbing right inside that paper towel. And look, it's not just sitting there. It's literally getting drawn up. All right, so we've got... Understanding cipher. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and so what do you have here? That's a picture of you in the same shirt you're wearing right now, right? And around you, I've got names. Today, what we're talking about, when we say understanding cipher, right? For us, we're talking about we're understanding everything around us, right? And all the people in our lives that are with us and really taking a look at that. Yeah. Is that a short E sound or a long E sound? Eh, eh, sure. eh. Yes, ma'am, right? And eat. Eat. Is that a long E sound or a short E sound? Long. Yes, ma'am. All the yellow got drawn up into there. All the blue, right? And now it's been dripping just little by little. 
dripping. And it's making what? Cream. Wow. Let's ask nicely. Can a supernatural being out there please grab our treat from over in the kitchen and bring it to our table? We're asking very nicely. Anybody? Here, you ask. No? What are we going to have to do in order to get what we want? Ourself has to grab it. Ourself has to grab it. Word up. 